What's up everybody, I'm Architect and today we're going to be talking about basic missile defense and the SA-8 Gecko SAM system. In this video I will be covering most of the basic missile defense maneuvers relevant to the SA-8. By having a greater understanding of this missile system you will have better survivability in a high threat environment. I will be covering the other SAM systems in future videos so don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitch for more content. The SA-8 Gecko is a highly mobile, low-altitude, short-range, tactical surface-to-air missile system designed in the Soviet Union. The SA-8 began development in 1960 and was introduced in 1971. It features an all-in-one transporter, launcher, and radar vehicle which can detect, track, and engage aircraft independently or with the aid of early warning radars. The six-wheeled transport vehicles are fully amphibious and air-transportable. The main armament of the SA-8 Gecko is the 9M33 missile. The SA-8 carries six of these in the top-mounted launcher turret. The missiles themselves are directed by uplink command guidance by the two antennas either side of the main tracking radar. This twin antenna system permits the SA-8 to control up to two missiles simultaneously against a single target. It also has an electro-optical tracker that can be used to track the target when the tracking radar is being jammed by electronic countermeasures. The 9M33 missiles are 3.1 meters in length, weigh 126 kilograms, have a 20 kilogram warhead, and reach a top speed of Mach 2.4. The 9M33 can pull 18 Gs against a maneuvering target. The SA-8 has a maximum tracking range of 15 nautical miles and a maximum engagement range of 8 nautical miles. The first missile evasion tactic we will be talking about today is the beaming defense. To employ this defensive tactic, you will just need to put the missile battery on your 3-9 line. In essence, put the radar on your 3 o'clock or your 9 o'clock and hold it there until the missile is defeated. This is not to be confused with notching, which is employed the same way, but with the intent to confuse the radar itself. Beaming aims to defeat the missile kinematically. In this defense, you'll want to keep your speed up, so make sure you don't lose all of your energy in the initial turn. The beaming defense works by making the missile work the hardest to get to you. Because the missile will try to lead you, by forcing the missile to constantly be in a hard turn to try to reach you, it is one of the fastest ways to bleed a missile's energy. Let's look at that again, but from the external view so you can see the missile's path. Note I am not using countermeasures in this tutorial as much as possible to show the defenses will work on their own. However, I recommend always using countermeasures when available if you have been launched on. As you can see, the missile self-detonated once they ran out of energy and couldn't reach me. The next missile defense technique we are going to be talking about is ground driving and the split S. Ground driving is defeating the missile by forcing it to lead you and impact the ground, thereby defeating the missile. The split S can be used to accomplish this. A split S is when you roll inverted and pull into a half loop. The first example is going to be simply pointing the nose down 30 degrees to force the missile into the ground. This is just an example and isn't necessarily a recommended defense because subsequent launches might present an issue. It however can be combined with terrain masking as a good defense. Next we will see how the split S accomplishes this and puts you in a defensive position heading away from the missile site. This can be followed up with braking turns for longer range missiles, but generally braking turns are not necessary for shorter range SAMs, so I will cover those in a later video. As you can see, the first missile was driven into the ground, and we were in a perfect position to defend against the second missile. The next missile evasion technique is pretty straightforward. If you are at medium high to high altitude, you can generally just outclimb the missile. Just engage full afterburner and pull to 60 degrees nose up attitude until the missiles are defeated. However, this may not be able to be accomplished in slower aircraft such as the A-10. In 
In this view, you can see that the missiles reached their maximum engagement altitude and self-detonated. The SA-8 has a maximum engagement altitude of 21,000 feet. The final missile defense technique we will cover today is the riskiest. This will generally be a last resort defense against a close-in shot. It may not work 100% of the time and is the most technically difficult evasive maneuver we will cover today. This evasive technique is going to be the loaded roll. In this scenario, you will point your nose right at the missile and do a high G barrel roll around the longitudinal axis of the missile. This forces the missile to constantly be turning to try to intercept you while pulling the missile's maximum G. With well-timed rolls, it is possible the missile will fly right by you without detonating. Again, this is a last-ditch effort to defeat a missile shot while you are in an otherwise poor position to defend against it. You want to make sure that you are always pulling into the missile and not away from it. If you are pulling away from the missile, it is far more likely to hit you. There are a few techniques I didn't cover in this video, such as terrain masking and orthogonal rolls, but I will be covering those in future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you on your next flight and provides survivability in a high threat environment. In the next video, we will be covering a medium range SAM system, so if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe and follow me on Twitch. You're also welcome to join our Discord in the link below. I look forward to catching you in the next one, and I'll see you on the flight line.